Hi, I'm going to be making some giant molasses cookies today with this recipe that I found on tasteofhome.com. Over the last eight months, I've watched lots and lots of videos and read a lot of recipes and learned how to make a bunch of new things. And this one, this giant cookie, is so good that I got some wow from Jordan and I got some my, my, mine from Harry and Tyler really liked it too. So I know that this is a good recipe. This is only my second time making it. Um, and last time I halved it, I put it, cut it in half because it is a big recipe, but today I'm gonna make the whole thing and um, I will show you how I do it. So already I've put in one and a half cups of, uh, this is Crisco, this is a par of Crisco because I'm gonna make it as a par of dessert, no dairy, no uh, meat in it. Um, and I want to use it instead of butter, which is what the recipe calls for. So let's get that on my machine. And then I need to take two eggs, which have come to room temperature, but they're actually a little bit cold. But they're supposed to be at room temperature, but since I'm doing a lot of other things today, getting ready for Thanksgiving tomorrow, it is Thanksgiving tomorrow in 2020, our fun year of COVID. Um, Anyway, I am doing a lot, so I want to just get this recipe done. The eggs have been sitting out for a little while. They're just slightly chilled right now. Um, okay, so we're going to put that in, and we're going to cream it together. Creaming just means mixing it together until it's just mixed, not overdoing it. Oops, just go like that. Tap to my beading implement, and then we're going to turn it on. You can come and take a look. Yep. Mix up. Mix up. Now, if you do use butter or margarine, which I sometimes use margarine as well, but I just got some Crisco. So I'm using Crisco today. It is okay to use the butter or margarine, but you do want to make sure that it's soft. Crisco is always soft, so you don't really have to wait on that. Let me take one more look. It's not quite ready yet because it's not cream together. It's not mixed together well. Ready. In the meantime, while it's creaming, I can tell you the other ingredients that I already got set so that it'll be easier. After I do that, I'm going to be adding four and a half cups of flour, which is over here. This is just regular flour. I have two kinds of flour in the house. I have my regular flour over here, by the way. And then I have another one that's bread flour because I've been making quite a bit of uh, challah or egg bread the last several months as well. And in fact, I have a video of me making a challah for Rosh Hashanah and then for Yom Kippur for Eric. Um, but since then, I've actually adjusted the recipe several times because I've been making it over and over again, so I might redo that video to make it a little more accurate because now I've got it down to science. Um, Anyway, so we have the flour, and then we have four teaspoons in here. I mixed up four teaspoons of brown ginger, two teaspoons, oh, it's probably done. Two teaspoons of baking soda, one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of ground cloves, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and then it's all mixed up and ready to go. And I have also, as well, a half a cup of molasses in here. And I'm hoping that this trick is going to work. I saw this on another video where they sprayed the measuring cup with, unless it only works on glass, I don't know, this plastic, um, with, uh, they sprayed it with some kind of oil, spray oil first, and then they put the liquid in it, and then the liquid came out easier because a lot of times when you measure with honey or with molasses or some kind of syrup, when you start dumping it into your bowl, you lose a lot of that because it just sticks to the sides, and then you have to get a scraper and scrape it out, and it's kind of a pain in the neck. So. Um, one of the people I was watching sprayed oil first and then put it in and it came right out. So we'll see if that works today. If not, no. Okay, so once that's creamed together, then I add the other ingredients. Let me see what the order is here, if there was a specific order. Okay, beat in eggs and molasses. Oh yes, I have to beat in the eggs and molasses, which I did. Um, oh, I forgot to put the sugar when I was creaming it. Well, that is really stupid of me. Okay, that is what I should have done first. So that's my error of this video. Every video I make has at least, spot the Mickey, spot the error in my videos. So I was supposed to cream the butter and sugar and then add the eggs, so I did it in the wrong order. So this should be a lot of fun. So here we go. There's two cups of sugar that were hidden back here and that is why I tried to put them in order for me to remember. 
but obviously I forgot. So there you go. Now it's gonna cream. Creaming is creaming the butter and sugar and then adding the egg. Uh, it's kind of like I knew what I was talking about, but obviously I really have no idea what I'm talking about. So you can choose to look at me or not, it is up to you. It's still gonna taste it. So we're gonna let that cream together now. It's already looking good. You can take a look at it one more time, Tyler. I'm going to add the other You can keep it over there while I add the mashed potatoes. It comes out. We add mashed potatoes. Measuring. Cut up. And mashed potatoes coming out pretty nicely. That trip really looks good. Much better. watched making bread once he said he just adds all of it at once even if the recipe calls for it in little batches but in order to avoid spraying it all over the place I do want to add a little bit at a time here and I probably should have mixed in the spices with the flour and then put it in but I didn't do that either because I was taking a shortcut and sometimes shortcuts don't work but I'm sure it's getting tasty okay rest of it. Oops, I already dropped some on the floor. Okay. There we go. Those are all the ingredients that it calls for, but my secret ingredient I haven't put in yet, and that is chocolate chips. These are hard chocolate chips. These are non-dairy uh, chocolate chips, so I can add it and continue to keep this recipe non-dairy. Smells good. Let me tell you, let me put some masks. I have a mask that I actually might be one of these. It's done, it's beautiful, you saw it. And then we're gonna scoop it up and we're gonna put it onto a tray, a couple of trays. Here's one tray that I use. So I'm gonna bring the tray over here. Move my recipe out of the way. And I'm going to put a parchment on it. And I'm gonna get one of my favorite implements that I bought after watching the cooking shows my cookie scooper. I bought a lot of little fun things to use after watching all those shows that I watched. Um, this one's a little small for this, but okay, we'll deal with that. We'll do that anyway. Okay, I'm gonna take it out of here. Oh good, my oven is ready now. That's off, sorry. And I'm gonna unplug it so I don't make another mistake and turn it on by accident. These things have been known to happen. And then, um, you can turn it off now and I'll turn it back on once I get everything out and ready to go. Whoa, change of change of rules. I'm gonna be scooping. So as I was taught just a few seconds ago, you do this, put it here. A few seconds literally. I love the cookie scooper. It's quite fun to use, isn't it? Oh yeah. And it actually makes the cookies turn out really uh, well, very round. Well, those look good, Tyler. Mm -hmm. Very big cookies. And cookie scoopers come in many different sizes. And I actually bought two different sizes, but right now this is the one I use. This is this generic kind of medium size cookie. Not huge, not too small, but very delicious. So we're gonna put all of these uh, onto a tray and then we're gonna bake it at 350 
This is what the cookies look like at the end of their baking. I have several, I've got to take that one out of the oven, but I have several over here that I can show you. This is what they look like. So try it, you'll love it, and enjoy. Okay, eating the cookie. Mmm. So soft and tasty. Let's see you. What do you think? You look so excited. How is it? Can you give me some words to describe how it tastes? That's good. <laughs> is it a mine, mine, mine like the last time? Huh? Is it a mine, mine, mine like last time? Yeah. Yeah? Bye. Thank you guys. Mm-hmm.